to Prime Time. We get so happy to see you each week. First up, we have Simra reciting Surah Al Fil. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل ألم يجعل كيدهم في تضليل وأرسل عليهم طيرا أبابيل ترميهم بهجارة من سجيل فجعلهم كعصف مأكول جزاك الله for that beautiful recitation now Amaya will recite a nasheed Hasbi Rabbi Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Adib and today I will be reciting Surah Al Mursalat. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wal Mursalat urfa, fal asifat asfa, wa nashirat nashra, fal fadiqat farqa, fal mulkiyat dhikra, udran aw nudra. Innama tu'adun lawaqi' fa idha an-nujum tumisat wa idha as-samaa فرجت وإذا الجبال نسفت وإذا الرسل أقتت لأي يوم أجلت ليوم الفصل وما أدراك ما يوم الفصل ويل يومئذ للمكذبين ألم نحلك الأولين ثم نتبئهم الآخرين كذلك نفعل بالمجرمين ويل يومئذ للمكذبين ألم نخلقكم من ماء مهين فجعلناه في قرار مكين إلى قدر معلوم فقدرنا فنعم القادرون ويل يومئذ للمكذبين ألم نجعل الأرض كفاتا أحياء وأمواتا وجعلنا فيها رواسي شامخات وأسقيناكم ماء فراتا ويل يومئذ للمكذبين انطلقوا إلى ما كنتم به تكذبون انطلقوا إلى ذل ذي ثلاث شعب لا ظليل ولا يغني من اللهب إنها ترمي بشرر كالقصر كأنه جمالة صفر ويل يومئذ للمكذبين هذا يوم لا ينطقون ولا يؤذن لهم فيعتذرون ويل يومئذ للمكذبين هذا يوم الفصل جمعناكم والأولين فإن كان لكم كيد فكيدون ويل يومئذ للمكذبين إن المتقين في ظلال وعيون وثباكها مما يشتهون كلوا واشربوا هنيئا بما كنتم تعملون إنا كذلك نجزي المحسنين ويل يومئذ للمكذبين كلوا وتمتعوا قليلا إنكم مجرمون ويل يومئذ للمكذبين وإذا قيل لهم اركعوا لا يركعون ويل يومئذ للمكذبين فبأي حديث بعده يؤمنون صدق الله العظيم جزاك الله في الاسنينك
put nice performance in today. Mashallah. Now, Hafisa will say a poem about Allah's love. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hafsa Sagid and today I will be reading an extract called Love of Allah. Ibn Qayyim rahmatullah alayh, said that there are 10 things that bring about the love of Allah. 1. The recitation of the Quran with reflection and with understanding of its meanings. 2. Seeking closeness to Allah by performing voluntary deeds after having performed obligatory ones for that leads one to the highest levels of love. 3. Remembering Allah during every situation. With one's time, heart and deeds, one's share of that love is to the degree of one's share in that remembrance. 4. Preferring what he loves to what you love when your desires are strong. 5. Allowing your heart to reflect on his names and attributes. 6. Reflecting on his many favours and blessings, both the apparent ones and hidden ones, for that leads to his love. 7. Having your heart softened as it is worshipping Allah. 8. Being alone with him in worship when he descends during the last third of the night. And this means to invoke him, to recite his speech, to stand with all sincerity and with good manners and with good submission, and to end that with repentance and with seeking his forgiveness. 9. Sitting with those who are truthful in their love of Allah. And 10. Staying away from all that creates barriers between the heart and Allah. Jazakallah for listening. Well done, mashallah. Now, Halima will be reciting an art. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Halima.
Global Special Month. Jazakallah to all those who participated in our Rabia Owen Primetime Special Month. We appreciate all your hard work. Mashallah. Now, the winners are Halima Wahid. Muhammad Asad Sajjad Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad Sana Mushta Mere sadke mein aaka sari jahan ka The Shamre Siblings Hariyati wada Wajaba shukru alayna Mada lillahi da Noor Fatima, Adi Mohan Fatima. Ishan Hussain. At about the end of the seventh year of the Hijrah, the Quraysh and the Mahzi Abu Bakr. And Muhammad Ali. Well done to everyone who are in first place all together and well done to everyone who tried their best and Jazakallah everyone hope you enjoyed Jazakallah for listening so everybody let's get prepared for our art tutorial and enter the competition for remaking Masjid Navi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Assalamu Alaikum today I will be showing you how to make this inspired painting using acrylic paint for this you will need a wooden heart paint brushes and acrylic paint you can purchase a wooden heart from any arts and crafts store. You will also need some markers, some sketching pencils and some ribbon. Draw a line, then draw two lines going down from that as shown. Then draw two lines above as shown and connect those two lines. Then draw some sort of a rectangular shape as you can see above. Repeat this step above again. Then roughly draw out the shape of a dome. It doesn't matter if it's not accurate. You can slightly adjust the shape of the dome and the shapes below, as shown. Once you are happy with the shape of the dome, you can add some details, as shown, like lines, to the dome. Draw a line across as shown and then one on the other side. Then start by drawing the pillar as shown. For step 5, draw the same pillar on the opposite side. Again, you can pause the video at any point. Draw two lines going downwards and then connect those two lines. Then add more lines to the pillar as shown. Draw a curvy line as shown, then draw two lines on top of this curvy line and connect them. Continuously add lines until the pillar is complete as shown. Finish the pillar off by adding details. Add a shade of dark green to the dome and cover the dome completely. This will form the base layer. bottom section of the dome using the same colour as shown. Then add another layer of the same dark green colour to the dome. Paint 
create the area shown by mixing a bit of black, white and yellow ochre. Add more white and then paint the surrounding area as shown. Using a similar shade, I painted the area below the dome and the pillars as shown. Then mix dark blue and white and paint the area of the sky as shown. I then added another layer of green paint to the doll as shown. I used the lighter shade of green and added tone to the doll. Then on the opposite side I used a darker shade of green. This was to give the dome some dimension. I further worked into the dome by adding light green. I also added darker shades of green as shown. I added white paint to the area shown to create dimension. I also added a layer of white paint below the dome as shown. Again, I mixed grey, white and yellow ochre and added that to the area shown. Using the same shade that I used previously, I added another layer of paint to the area shown. Then I added details to the front, as you can see, and to areas of the dome. And this is again to give it dimension. Adding white to the previous tone, I then painted the areas of the pillars as shown. Using a dark shade of grey, I outlined the areas of the pillar roughly as you can see. Using a thin brush and using the colour black, outline the areas shown and add details as shown.
If you have a black marker, you may also use that to outline certain areas as shown. Using a thin brush, add tones of grey to the pillar and the areas shown. Using a black marker, add lines to the dome as shown. Lastly, using a rounded brush, I added white paint to the sky to form clouds, as shown. This is what the finished piece looks like. You can follow the same steps and make this using paper as I have done here. Jazakallah for watching. We have Chris with Nur Fatima.